so I get asked this question a lot. Um, how often do I water my plants? And um, they've actually, I've actually not watered them for about two weeks now. Uh, during the day, the leaves are all droopy, like um, like you see here. This is still droopy. It's um, it's it's in the late afternoon now. It's cooled off, and a lot of the plants, the leaves have now perked up and are fine again. But you can see that the soil is bone dry. And um, but you can see where what I'm talking about here. I leave this well. Tonight I'm going to water them. I'm going to give them a good watering. But the idea behind it is that if you stress the plant, the peppers become hotter. And um, I found that to be true, and uh, I do it. And it certainly doesn't hurt the plants. They uh, they don't like to be uh, overwatered. But um, anyway, uh, that's just to let you know. I was thinking about that today while I was looking at the plants, and um, I have a lot of. Uh, peppers that are ripe and I'm going to start to to really uh, give it a good harvesting but I thought before I did that I would maybe do an update here. So I'll start with the seven pods like I always do and I've got I have a lot of um, seven pods that are ready to go. Look at this little beauty. These are the Jonah, Jonah uh, seven pods. Um, very hot. I counted my peppers today <laughs> and I have about 700 peppers all together. Not 707 pods, I don't mean, but um, all, all told, all in all, I have about maybe 60, uh, seven pods. You can see, I have lots of them. Very nice uh, peppers. And uh, here's the Pekin, and um, they've all turned purple. And with this, they all turn kind of a dark, dark purple. And uh, I have two ripe ones. These were actually the very first two, which makes sense. The very first two. And I haven't tried them yet. I'll be picking them and trying them. I guess I'll probably do that today after I do this uh, recording. And um, then I have uh, the red scotch bonnets. And uh, these are just beautiful, actually. They look beautiful. And you can see I have quite a few. And here are the two little plants that grew up together and I let them grow together. And if you think what's really funny is that um, that they look so droopy and dead really but you know after I give them a good watering they'll perk right up again then overnight they'll be fine too. In the morning they'll be just fine. I know it's hard to believe but it's true. Okay um, so that's that and here I have uh, Cayenne and it's loaded with peppers. I've been picking off the ripe ones, so there aren't actually any ripe ones. But you can see how nice they are. Lots of peppers. <coughs> and I have uh, the Buchelokia. Trying to, trying to figure out how to pronounce it by listening to everybody else, so I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but uh, Buchelokia, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. And I have uh, about 40 uh, peppers. That plant, and this plant is so heavy, it's actually bending over. But you can see none. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't notice this one before, but there's actually one starting to change color here. But uh, yeah, let's look at this baby. Crazy. Crazy. I think last year I only had two. <laughs> so that's a pretty good, a pretty good turnaround. Um, then I have my uh, hot paper lanterns, and they've been providing me peppers all summer. So um, really I've been picking peppers all summer, different kinds. And the hot paper lantern of course starts to ripen really early. Let's see, I have three plants and about 70 peppers. Yeah, and here, right there. And I've got um, three Trinidad scorpion plants. They're really tall plants but n not this year. So I have no peppers on this plant. Um, this one, the uh, peppers are really weird looking. And I'm thinking maybe it's a brown or a chocolate uh, scorpion. Right here. And I'll be trying them. I'll be trying them uh, pretty soon. So this one's a little bit more normal looking, this plant. Right here, you can see. They look a little bit more like you expect them to look, but uh, none of them ripe, have ripened yet, and I don't have all that many on it anyway. Then I have three Caribbean red plants, and um, this 
one. This one's a pretty good one. It's got a couple of ripe over here. I mean, really tiny little thing over here. Huh. <laughs> Ripened though. And uh, this one over here. And you can see there are lots of ripe ones that are close to ripe on it. Let's see. And here's my uh, super chili right over here. Super chili. Okay. An orange hab. None of them have turned orange yet, but you can see the typical orange hab uh, shape here. And uh, got lots of those. And what I have here is I am uh, going to say a chocolate, um, a long chocolate habanero. And uh, you can see the shape of them. And it's just starting to turn brown. And it is loaded. So that's a hot, a hot pepper. That is for sure. But I don't have any yet that I can try. And this plant is gigantic and it's got all kinds of peppers on it. Can't really see them because they're all still green, but but uh, you can see so many here. Okay, and here is uh, Savetta Hot, and I have a couple that are actually drying right on the plant still. I'm just going to leave them there. Okay, and I have my Naga plants. This one. And I have about 65 uh, peppers, not including the little ones, but I don't know if I have time for them to, uh, so I didn't count them. And uh, let me get right in there. This one had nine pods on it, but I have to take them all off, and there's nothing else growing on it. I'll just leave it there. And this one, after all, only has given me one pod. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's... It doesn't know that it's there for my benefit, so I'm just going to let it let it live out its life. And here, and I've got most of the peppers on this plant right here. Right here. Okay. And more that you can see here. I'm really... Okay. And there's the scotch bonnets over there. I have a... A Fatali Red going on over here, and this is insanely hot, insanely hot. I have about, I think, 40 or 50 peppers on this one. I should have checked it out, but, but you can probably see them all. A lot of them are ripe already. And the regular Fatali, this is an orange Fatali, the same as I had last year, and uh, not as hot. Um, a very nice pepper and I have about 50 peppers on this one you can see they're very prolific peppers very nice flavor very sweet and uh, quite hot another feta over here here a little bit smaller this is the one that I have from last year and um, doing very well and my um, hot cherry bomb not very hot, really, but uh, another sweet pepper. And uh, Bulgarian carrot over here. And tried one of those, and it was really hot. Much hotter than I expected. It was a bit of a surprise, a pleasant surprise, and a nice flavor as well. So uh, that's it. That's where I am right now, and I'm going to be harvesting some peppers. And maybe later on, if uh, the weather stays nice, I might do another update uh, later on. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.